Hello and welcome aboard Whale Pod to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet. I'm your Captain Whale, and now with the Paradox Pokemon all logged in the, in the old decks and having emerged from Area Zero at Medali, we're going to start our Gym Leader rematches here. So, it's showing me to go to the actual Gym Tower here. We're going to be doing four of these rematches in this video and the other four in the next. So one thing I would like to ask of you, Whalepod, before we get into finishing up these uh, gym rematches and doing the tournament at the school, are we going to get ambushed by Ed Sheeran again in a replaying of the credits after the tournament? Do let me know so I can, so I can prepare to either mute the game audio during the credits or... Uh, simply cut them out by pausing and unpausing my recording rather than having to actually, you know, edit them out with actual video editing software. It's time for a meeting with the boss. It seems I've got a visitor with no appointment instead. This is absolutely something she'd do. No, no, I understand everything. I assure you. I look forward to our battle then. Of course, it's no problem. La Primera is my boss, so I have to do as she says. But now she's ordering students around. I see. So you're helping the boss free up some time to enter a tournament at the academy. Well, whatever floats your boat. I suppose I'd never let myself get roped in like that. Well, let's knock this task off our list then. No use wasting time, shall we? Yeah. I see no reason to uh, waste any more formalities. Let's get into it, goat. Let's head to Treasure Eatery, then. The man, the myth, the legend, the lobster himself, Larry, is up first on our victory lap of gym rematches. You already faced me during the elite tests, so I doubt this will leave much of an impression on you. In any case, let's get started, shall we? I'll be facing you in my role as a gym leader, so I'm going to use my regular team. They all belong to the normal type. Normal, as in plain, average, unremarkable, or run-of-the-mill. I'm pretty fond of them, you know. Uh, they suit me perfectly. I'm about as ordinary as you can get. People, Pokemon, uh, there's no need to overcomplicate things. Nowadays, people only seem to want a shock factor. Something weird, something bizarre. At the end of the day, though, nothing beats the relief of coming home, even after a fun vacation. When all said and done, simplicity is strongest. We are challenged by Gym Leader Larry. Oinkaloni leading off the pack this time. I don't remember if Oinkaloni was on his squad the previous battle. The boss takes some getting used to, you know. You've got your work cut out for you. We're gonna uh, U-turn on out of here. And bring out the ghost of Annihilation's past. Now, let's keep our normal immunity for the meantime here. And let's be a real drain on Larry's team. About to send in Braviary. We'll keep in our current Annihilate. Annihilation here. Neutral Drain Punch, doing about two-thirds. And the Recoil finishing it off for us. Komala. I do remember this being on his team.
we're gonna give up our normal immunity here in order to uh, get a little extra oomph on these drain punches. Now that we're living so close to the edge here. Larry's a normal type expert of that expert that I can get behind. Uh, a rather normal person himself, and uh, he doesn't really do too many fancy normal type things. Really just a normal flying or two here and there. Komala was a tiny little juice box, not worth much at all. The Dudun Sparse. Normal is actually my favorite Pokemon type, which is why we have Oinkaloni on the team. I always try to have a normal on my places. And why I quickly reversed my decision to betray my Oinkaloni for a Great Tusk after catching the Titan back after the Desert Titan encounter. Staraptor. It's going to fail to intimidate us because we do have the clear amulet. You're just plain strong, aren't you? But I always output my best or something or other. Clear amulet prevented intimidate from working. Time to show what we can really do. Same good work as always, please. Terra super effective drain punch now. Is gonna take this Staraptor down in one go. I also like how Larry's the only one who uh, doesn't use any sort of gimmick strat, like, go uh, say, terrestrializing a ghost type to a normal or something like that. A third serving of defeat, huh? 23k in prize money, not bad, Larry. Pretty loaded for a lobster. You're a bit too much for an average Joe like me to handle. But I think I understand now. Why I was told to use flying types when I battle as a member of the Elite Four, I mean. There's scenery you'll never notice if you stick to flat or well-trodden paths. It'll do me good to admire the talent that soars as high as yours from time to time. Well, if the boss says so, I should do so. I'll do so. She won't catch me doing it for fun, though. In any case, I've been strictly told to cut down on my overtime hours, so I'll call it a day. That's one objective down, so we will be back at our next stop. And we're back at our next destination in Cortando. We're going from the best gym leader to the worst gym leader. And not just because she's first, she's just honestly awful. And not just because she's bug type, once again I've said I really do enjoy bug type Pokemon. And she is a disgrace to a bug type expert. Hello there, my name's Katie and I'm the owner of Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, the new champion everyone's talking about. Is it actually you, sweetie? Sure is, that's me, the new champion. Hooray, I guess correctly. Suppose that makes sense, though. You sure were strong. You really looked like you were enjoying yourself when I tried my sweet treats, too. Uh, when you tried my sweet treats, too. People like that always have great potential. So, you're here on an errand for the top champion, are you? I had completely forgotten that she was supposed to be going around for inspections. Thankfully, I just happened to be here today to give cakes to my staff. Woo! Lucky me. Very well then. Is it time for me to get a taste of our new champion's strength? I guess it is. <laughs> oh, what fun! Let's go somewhere more suited for battling.
I remember your olive rolling prowess very well, Whale. You had such vigor, it was almost as if you had terrestrialized into a fighting type yourself. How many gyms had you been to when you first came here to mine? Was it your first? The Cortando gym is close to the academy, so many young trainers are starting out like to come here first. With that in mind, La Primera asked me, asked me to go soft on trainers, like a nice sponge cake. I feel sad for my sweet little bugs, though, since that means they quite often lose their battles. <laughs> but opportunities like this get me excited, because I can finally tro show my true skill. Allow me to knead you into submission. I got challenged by gym leader Katie. Ah, I let off well. Don't expect me to be sweet today, and don't cry when you taste bitter defeat. I was gonna just U-turn out anyway after baiting out a bug type move. Don't even need to bait out the bug type move because the bug was weak to bug. Miascarada's gonna gonna come back to me. And since we don't have a single flying fire or rock type move on the entire team, we're gonna go for the double resistance to bug. Go, Tinkaton. That send out Heracross. This is perfectly fine. I might not have flying rock or fire, but I have fairy. And I have a girl with a big hammer who's really good at using fairy type moves. Spide Offset is a pure bug type. And it's also slower than dirt. We're just gonna gigaton hammer. Silk Trap is a protect move. And we're just gonna go ahead and play rough it this time then. Uh, but it failed. Attack fell. There's the Silk Trap. Protected itself again. Speed fell. Didn't see that last time. Let's see. Yeah, we're only at minus one speed. Really? Sending it out to just fish for protects? Oh, really? Fortress. It's only weak to fire, resistant to both of Tinkaton's stabs, so we're going to switch it out as an opportunity to, uh, to get the speed drops off of our Tinkaton. Yeah, we're going to give Claude her time to shine. Stealth Rock time. Speed fell. Attack rose, defense rose. Okay, yeah, we can handle these gyro balls. Thought it was gonna curse and then explode on me or something.
All right, earthquake time. Just keep quaking the earth. Oh yeah, we know it's not gonna be triggering on a steel type like fortress anyway, but we no longer have poison point. We now have water absorb. It'll be fun to see uh, how many uh, clock of all turns it takes Nimona to realize we're no longer weak to water. my luck it's gonna live on like one HP because of that curse and my luck is turning it seems here comes the Ursa ring We're gonna bring back out Tinkatan. Perseverance is important for bug types. It's time to leap towards victory. Actually gonna go for the terrestrialized fairy player up here. My sweet little bear, show me your new form as if you were a bug emerging from its cocoon. such luck with the high horsepower there. Oh, we got rid of our steel type. And we defeated gym leader Katie. I see you've emerged from your chrysalis and become a beautiful new you. The same amount as Larry. Not bad for just a lowly baker. That was quite the battle, I must say. Your skill rivals that of even La Primera. Ah, how sweet it is to battle without holding back, even if I end up losing. I am beginning to think that, I, that going too soft on people may not be good for either party. My culinary teacher, Mr. Kofu, did tell me to put more of myself into my baking, after all. I think I may try conducting battles in more of my own style from now on. If trainers complain that the Cortando gym is suddenly more difficult, I'll just tell them that not all pastries are sweet. Goodbye for now. I hope to see you again someday. All right, we'll be back at our next location. And our next destination is Kofu's Gym in Kaskarafa. I don't want to have to deal with the elevator cutscenes. So we're taking the Karaidon way up. And being a menace to the people running across the rooftops of their houses.
Now I think you know who we're gonna have sweep this fool again. Hey, uh, step right up. Welcome to the Kaskarafa gym. Oh, and Valooza, look who it is. I was expecting someone else. A top champion, I came instead. Ah, I see, Miss Gita put you up to this, did she? It feels just like yesterday that you are out collecting your badges. And now look at ya. Already champion rank. You're like one of those fish Pokemon that completely changes shape and name as it evolves. All full of life, what a great catch. And now this, our promising up-and-comer here to test my abilities himself. Don't worry, this old man used to be a, you know, used to facing harsh reviewers, part of the restaurant business. Alrighty then, you ready to battle this old man and see if he's still fit to be called a gym leader? Yes we are. That's what I like to hear right this way. Ever since you fought for that choice seaweed for me, all my dishes using it have been big hits. Thanks for that. Guess it's no surprise you did so well, what being worthy a champion rank. Goodness gracious, but do I ever meet all kinds of people while doing this job? I've seen people like yourself who run full speed ahead like a raging river. And plenty of people who settle down like a calm lake. We older folk tend to prefer the latter, of course. But this old man himself finds that a bit dull. Rivers flow into the ocean. That water then climbs up into the clouds and becomes rain. I'm Kofu the Torrent, ever changing just like water. Now come see what I'm made of. Gym Leader Kofu, uh, back for more. Guess we didn't thoroughly cook him the first time. Alright, Vault and Valooza. Good ingredients don't need no cover-up spices. Get ready for fresh raw old man Kofu. Hey Kofu, this should be, uh... A uh, nice memory for you, getting swept by Miascarada again. Veluza is actually pretty slow before it uses Filet Away, contrary to how fast it moves in the overworld. Down goes the fish. Pelipper. We'll let the neutral terastalized crit hit carry us through. A drizzle. Critical hit uh, to carry us through to uh, the dead Pelipper. Clawitzer. I do believe this does not have Swift Swim as one of its abilities. I believe it always has Mega Launcher. Send in a Wug Trio. And nope, and not faster than the Miascarada. So, in other words, you're a failure, Wug Trio. Well, the next one's gonna be his Crabominable, which will terrestrialize to Water type. 
we'll keep our current Pokemon in. <laughs> Batten down the hatches. Prepare for a storm. This is what makes battling exciting. You mean getting swept to five straight flower tricks? That's what makes it exciting? Yeah, I'm not even going to grace that with reading it. You're going to go down in one in one move, Koku. And we defeated Kofu yet again. What a refreshing loss. My mind's as clear as still water. And the same amount of prize money as the previous two. A bit, a bit stingy for a three Michelin star chef, don't you think, Kofu? You really put the pressure on. Guess I should have expected no less from someone with La Primera's seal of approval. What a catch. The wildest currents, for better or worse, pulling everything around him, and have a really wild and drastic efforts on their surroundings. That makes those friends of yours who stay by your side all the more important. Phew, your youthful vigor's got my motivation flowing up like a rising tide. Next time you see Miss Gita, tell her that old man Kofu's flowing and crashing more than ever. Don't forget to tell her, young friend. And you come back and see me again now, you hear? Now, oh, we will be doing one more gym this episode, so we will be back at our final destination for the episode. And our final destination is torturing my voice, because I have to do Iono's voice again. So, uh, rip your ears. Primera, your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electro web. Who's a what's it? Iono! Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. Wait, you aren't Gita. It's me, well, she sent me instead. Say what? You just became a champion and you're already helping La Primera? Weren't you just doing your gym test like yesterday? You're really kicking butt out there. Wait, so basically what you're telling me is that now is the perfect time for us to collab? I can see it now. I'll be more popular than ever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down, friendo. Since you're here to do the inspection for Gita, I'm I'm gonna give you a show you'll never forget. And I know about you, but I think it's about time we got down to it. What do you say? Yeah, let's let's go. Let's get this scrap on with. Yes, here we go. Off to the off to battle land. Ah, that's why I've seen that phone case before. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. Welcome to the Iono Zone. It's me, Iono. Today's guest is our brand spanking newest champion, Whale. You've gone viral among the gym leaders, friendo. You're all we're talking about recently. I remember your gym test well. It was brzz, shocking. This stream's gonna trend like crazy. I can't wait to see those viewer numbers go up, up, up. All right, here we go. Got that camera set up just how I like it. I didn't know about you all, but I'm ready to get this battle started. 
we call this stream gym leader iono battles like you've never seen before we're challenged by gym leader iono kill a watchful Time to put on my serious face, eyes wide open like a magnemite, so you don't miss a thing. We're gonna U-turn on out of here. Not very effective. Resist flying. Neutral to flying, neutral flying, weak to flying, neutral to flying. We don't have any offensive rock type moves. But I think we're gonna go for the Titan here. He's bulky enough to take a couple kilowatt roll hits, probably. The tailwind. Wind power. Oof, what a hit. And we avoid the hurricane. And get our revenge. Bassett in belly bolt already. Yeah, we'll switch Pokemon. Claude Sire, get out here. If I remember correctly, the Belly Bolt does carry water coverage, so let's see how stupid it is. We'll set up some rocks. Ah, it's not dumber than a sack of rocks, at least. I just say Iono's not dumber than a sack of rocks, at least. Tailwind petered out. Oithquake. exactly use that electromorphosis against me though. Claude Sire being slow to take it down is just doing his best to burn reflect turns here. Haha! -ha! Water absorb! Okay, Iono is a little dumb. Ray. Yeah, we'll switch Mons here. We'll actually bring out our Annihilate to go ahead and eat the Intimidate. prevents the Intimidate. And we're gonna go ahead and drain a punch here. Crit hit, one shot. Electrode. This boy will surely outspeed us and get us our Rage Fist power up. Electric terrain first, though. Let's 
snow stopped, so Titan's now out. And Reflect is now gone. Yeah, hit me. Hit me more. Here comes the, the Miss Magius. We'll keep out Annihilate here. Hey, Whale, quit hogging the limelight and let me shine a bit, yo. Point of Stones dug into Miss Magius. We're gonna get rid of that ghost weakness. And go for the Rage Fist. Shiny little light bulb, be the inv invention that leads me to victory. Bzz. Ah, yes, the electric type with levitate. The uh, the base form Rotom without the drawbacks of being electric and ghost. Sorry, Iono, but that had to happen. And we defeated Gym Leader Iono. Our brand spanking newest champions, hot stuff. Aw oh, man, I'm super I'm not super happy about losing, you know, but Look at those viewer numbers. The Iono zone's on a roll today. I'm on cloud nine. No, cloud ten. Having someone as popular as you on my stream was a great idea. I'm trending like the internet's mad at me. We should collab like this regularly. Don't go appearing on it on any other channels though. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm done. Tell La Primera what a sensation I was, okay? Uh, I assume by no other channels, you mean you're not gonna get mad at me if I post this to my channel? Your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electro web. Who is a what's it? Iono signing off. And that whale pod is where we're going to leave this episode at. I have been your Captain Whale. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to smack those like and subscribe buttons with a super effective left click. And do feel free to comment down below. All three of those helped me out immensely, and I appreciate them greatly. Now that said and done, I hope you all are having fantastic days, whale pod. Make sure to stay cool, stay classy, and most importantly, stay healthy. But until next time, this is Captain Whale, signing off.